Good morning everyone, this is Lexi. It was requested on my blog that I do a tutorial on how to remove a mattress. Most of the Sims 4 beds have already had this done. Um, I'll link some in the description here. But if you're converting items, this might be helpful to know. So I have an in-game EA bed right now. Um, a couple things about separating the bed frame itself. The bed frame is going to act kind of like a rug. It can go under items, it cannot intersect walls, things like that. So we want to strip the whole thing and make sure that it, it is only the object. So first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go to object mode. We're already in object mode. First thing I like to do is remove these triangles. This is your rig. These are your... am I not like, doing stuff right now? Oh, there we go, rig. We'll just select that. Okay, so I remove the triangles. Some people leave them on when they do this. Um, I don't. I just feel like it looks messy. Delete. Okay, so. For those of you who have never used this before, or Blender, rather, um, it's actually kind of easy, so you just right-click to select. Um, go from object mode to edit mode. Uh, your options down here vertices, edges, faces. I click faces, it's easier for me to see. Hit B for box, left click, draw the box, and select. I'm going to highlight most of this stuff right now. I like to do it in big batches. Um, at least for, for the double mattress because it's so, you see here, it's like so far away from the headboard. Really important to remember to come up here and zoom in and out. Um, your middle mouse button is how you move the camera if you're if you're new to Blender. Um. Doo -doo -doo. I could have probably done most of this beforehand, but I wasn't thinking. It's like seven in the morning here. <laughs> Should have chose an easier bed. I think the Princess Cordelia, or the Cordelia bed. Um, part of the mattress is actually like almost completely separate from the bed. That one's kind of easy. So control mouse wheel to do this to your bed. Again, if you're if you're new to Blender, a lot of you who are watching this probably aren't. If you're converting items, you're probably not new to Blender. That is rough. You can totally fast forward here. When I do the comments, I will link how long this took so you can just fast forward. Okay, so I think I have most of everything uh, highlighted here, so I'm going to hit delete. Uh, vertices here, because we want to delete everything. We want to delete the edges, the faces, everything. So vertices. And that's pretty much it. You can see I've got some skeletons here of the, uh, the pillows. I kind of zoom up here. B for box again. Highlight. Delete delete vertices and as you can see I've still got like some stuff here it's like real weird um, go to edges and just like right click your edges um, yeah 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 I get it that's pretty much it guys um, oh wait hold on I've got, I don't know what happens if you leave the little like skeleton figures here. Um, if it like shows up in the game, I haven't tried it. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, as you can probably tell, so I like it real clean. Do I delete these? Yes, I delete those. Okay, that's it! If <coughs> Sorry, if at this point you're converting a bed, you want to make sure that uh, you go to object mode, and that this bed is, I think it's the beds in-game is supposed to be zero. Yeah, so you're going to go over to this button right here, um, scroll down until you say CAS tools, type none. You want to change this cut, so if the cut was like fuck five, um, you would come in here and you would change the cut to zero, and then you would save and import it to your game. That is pretty much it, so I'll upload this now. I'll link to some of the Sims 4 frames. Um, 
and that's it. Have fun!